Perfidious Pete here. Ready to take the pain train down to Zombie Town in the vanishing of Ethan Carter. And no, I don't feel good about that intro segue there. It sounds like something a dude bro would say to one of his frat bro buddies before the annual costume keg crawl over at the Tri Delta house. He'd be all like, dude, have you seen Tiffany Cox this week? So smoking hot the rack on that broad. Dude, you know I'm totally going to liquor her up tonight at the big event with the costume so she doesn't know who I am. Give her like a quart of lime vodka. Then I'm going to give her a ride on the meat train to Pound Town. And then his buddy is like, um, you know, Chad, I mean, that's a noble goal and all, but like, have you looked in the mirror lately, dude? I know you're going to be in a costume and all, but even with the help of the mask concealing your horrible visage, don't you think Tiffany Cox is a little bit out of your league? And that's when Chad reaches into his pocket and he's like, do sweat it, bro. I've got a plan. And he pulls out a giant bag full of roofies with gives that patented smug ass frat boy grin. And everybody else in the room goes, hell yeah, bro. And then they bury him in a tidal wave of high fives. Yeah, that's pretty much how that scene plays out in my head. So, yeah, let's go back down to Zombie Town. There's definitely a puzzle of some sort going on down here in Zombie Town. I'm just not entirely certain what it is. Yes, I know we're supposed to read this. We already read it. It says something about the gate being sealed and whatnot. And then we've got this map. So we come up here. There's like a little opening on our left. Check. Wait. The map very clearly says there should be like an open area on our left. And I don't... We didn't... We did not find one. Maybe I just didn't go down far enough. I guess it's right before the turn. So we've got a long straight tunnel here. I just want to see if like, I, I think there's some kind of like physics shenanigans going on. Okay, so there's this. Right here. There's nothing in here. And then we should have up here, we should take a jog to the right. Okay. So now we are where we would expect to be. Yes, now we are exactly where we would expect to be. So behind us... Wait, is that what... Is that why I'm getting confused here? Because the way I came in is... Not, the way I'm, I came in is actually not the way I think it is. So I'm actually not going the way... No, because this is right. Jog up and around and left. We are coming into a four-way intersection where the sign is right there. So this should be, in all intents and purposes, a dead end. And it is. Okay. Anything down here worth looking at? There's not. Okay, got it. All right. That's where we came in. So if we go this way and down, we're going to come to like another four-way intersection, right? If we go this way, go around, go down, and this should be another four-way intersection, right? And it is. Okay. Good. So if we go... Oh, there's a dead guy over there. Wait, is that the, that's the, the miner. That's the zombie guy who killed us last time though, right? Maybe not. Okay. Well, let's inspect him. Whoa, what the hell is this? Oh, we got, okay. We got to follow the will of the wisp. We know how this works. Where are you taking me, bro? Slow down, bro. Take it easy. Oh, are you going to lead? He's leading me through the maze. Maybe the will o' the wisp keeps us clear of the zombie. Is that how it works? Pretty sure we came in a circle, though. Wait, where? Dude, where are you going? Whoa, slow down there, Jimmy. You're always in such a hurry, man. You're dead already. The rat race is over, dude. You don't have to rush anymore. You can just take your fucking time. Where are you? All right, you know what? Fine. I can't help but also notice that you're vaguely reminiscent of a uh, sperm cell. What the fuck is going on here? Well, the will of the wisp went... Oh, well, there's some... Oh, this must be the gate that's supposed to remain sealed. Oh, there's another dead guy here. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, well, you're not shitting around. That guy's just going straight up. Okay, well, you're just going right up to the top then. Okay, what's this? He is not dead, but eternal lie. Wait, what? He is not dead, but eternal lie. The god of strange eons cannot die. We open the gate, the gate of old. Its guardian eyes have long grow cold. The name of our god, our truth, our key. He is that which is, which should not be. 
Anything on the back? No? Oh, there's like little symbols on the thing, though, that are burned off. So you got like an alpha and an omega, the top and the bottom. Is that... What is this thing up here? Let's go check this out. Sincere and noble effort, though, to whoever put these candles down here. This is great. I really appreciate the legwork you guys put on in a ritual. That's fantastic. So you guys are giving away... Symbols? Symbols to what? Let's send... What is this? Sense you... Manipulate the gate. Oh. Okay, so it's a combination lock. Got it. Well, this guy's on a symbol. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight rows of symbols. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So then, like, assuming you're the last one, because I'm guessing, like most English speakers, that the Elder Abominations from Beyond the Pale also read left to right, this would be your symbol then? But we had the, a little Omega thing on the thing at the bottom. It was this symbol. So then maybe this is next? Because I don't actually see that symbol. Oh, no, I do. It's right there. And then this would be first. So you'd be symbol number one would be uh, incubating alien. Okay. There are way too many symbols for us to guess this, so we're just going to... Can we can we stop manipulating the gate? How do I stop, though? I don't I don't want to rotate it anymore. I just... I, I don't... I, wanna, I don't want to... I just... Can't walk away. Oh, I have to... Look at exit. Okay, so... Clearly, we got to go find more Will-O-The-Wisps. All right. Back down into the corn maze, I guess. How come nobody ever makes jokes about the fact that corn mazes are actually made of maize? Is it a corn maze? It's a maize maze. You know, the Indians called it maize. Native Americans, I suppose Indians these days, is probably considered culturally insensitive. So what happened to the zombie, though? Like, there was a zombie down here a minute ago? I'm, like, relatively certain. We definitely saw a zombie down in this passageway earlier, but now he's nowhere to be found? Came out. Maybe he just wanders around down here and we just haven't bumped into him yet. So what are we... Where are we also in the relative scope of the maze? We are here. So straight passage going. Okay, so let's go like this way. So what... Are, I guess we're just wandering... Oh, there's another dead guy. Still haven't seen the zombie guy. Here, dead guy. Another Will of the Wisp. I, I, I suppose we could follow him, but we kind of know where he's going. He's going to go back to that main chamber. Let's just keep wandering around down here and look for more guys, because that chamber has had like five or six pieces, so there should be five or six bodies, I'm guessing, down here for us to find. So we can work out the overall code. It's a little post, uh, like post alive cryptography down here. We got kind of like a Neil Stevenson's Cryptonomicon situation working. Except with, like, way more corpses and zombies. Maybe not way more. Some more. So where are we now? We're here. So which way is the dead end? See, it says, based on where we are, that this should be a dead end. And, oh, never mind, it is. Okay. I thought that hooked around to the left. So let's go... This way? Really, this is much less complicated than I thought it was. Earlier when I came down here, I thought... I thought I was getting turned around and it was teleporting me, like when we ran through the tunnel at the beginning of the game, and it took us, no matter which end of the tunnel we went through, we always wound up in a different spot. I thought we were getting some of that, and we were going to have to, like, solve the maze by choosing the correct direction at every opportunity. I was like, man, that's going to be really hard. But it turns out, this is much less complicated than I expected it to be, in that it's basically just run around in circles and look for dead bodies. There's no, like, weird teleporting or anything going on. We're just running around looking for corpses. It's basically uh, every day perfidious Pete Friday night. I mean, this is what I do on most weekends. It's just, Pete, what'd you do this weekend? I go into work on Monday. People are like, oh, Pete, how'd you spend the weekend? I'm like, ah, oh, you know, pretty much same old, same old. Ran around, uh, 
Looking for corpses. Spent the weekend just jogging around, looking looking for dead bodies. It's the thing I do, you know. Oftentimes get paid. Oh, here's a dead guy. What's up, Jimmy? Don't ask me why every guy dead guy is named Jimmy. It's just that guy really looked like a Jimmy. So we're back here again. Let's go this way this time. As long as we keep up winding in the same area, we can just take a different pathway every time and probably we will find a dead person. Again, just like every one of Perfidious Pete's Friday nights, as long as you go in a different direction every time, you're always going to find a dead guy. So we are now here. We are now here. And the post is on. So if we go this way, we should wind up running around like in roughly a circle. Any corpses back here? Any of you guys dead? Anybody? Dead people? No? Deceased corpses? Hacked, dismembered remains of a bygone miner? Nope. Well, we could. It's, you know, it's really nice of the cult, by the way, to leave map. Oh, here's a, there's a dead guy. It's really nice of the cult, by the way, to leave not only a. Uh, oh, we should just follow this because that. Maybe the last one. I don't know how many of these chunks we need, but this thing will lead us straight to where we want to go. The last one actually led us by a dead body, so there's no reason to not just follow this. Hey, you want to speed it up? Your pal Jimmy was really in a hurry, but uh, you, Steve, seem to be really taking your time. The last dead miner definitely looked like a Jimmy. This is very clearly a Steve. Also, he's been reincarnated as, like, the uh, spirit of ectoplasmic sperm, which... Probably is relatively humiliating in the afterlife. Hurry up. It's nice of you to pick up the pace. I appreciate it, Steve. Come on. I got, you know, I got shit to do. Any day now, though. So what happened to the zombie miner guy? Was that just like a one-time gig? Does the zombie only show up once? Yeah, he's going up top. So if we read this... We very clearly have Squiggly and M on the end. So we got Squiggly M. I should have been more diligent when I looked at this thing earlier and correctly counted them. But, like, is there one, two, three, four, five? We have five dead people. One, two, three, four, five, and six things. So we have Squiggly. Zulu, Zulu, um, like... Backward summation sign and then broken sacrificial knife. And then probably M, because we're 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 dude short. Wait, is the first guy on Squiggly? Like you're on Squiggly, right? So we start here. Got it. So this no. The code is Squiggly and the last thing is Omega, but there is there an Omega symbol up here? I don't actually see one. Oh, there it is right there. So it goes top to bottom then? So we're going like Z, squiggle. I don't think so. I think it goes left to right. Let's try. So let's go up to the top row. And we want the first symbol to be squiggle. Because I felt pretty strongly that squiggle is the first symbol. So squiggle's the first symbol. Lower on the same row is Z. So let's try that. And then we would go left one, which would be also Zulu, which is already in place. Next would be backward summation sign. Which doesn't appear to be on here. Oh, so we screwed something up. Maybe it goes left to right, top to bottom? Oh, no, the next guy would actually be... Because those guys are... It was, so it would be... No, that's definitely not right. I'm pretty confident that this one is this. And I'm also relatively confident that this is Sacrificial Knife. So then, what? If let's, let's work it backwards. Sacrificial Knife, this would then be... Backwards Summation Sign, right? Except there isn't one here. There isn't one on this row, so that, like, can't be it. So that's got to be Z. Is there a backward summation sign here? Or is... Wait, is that the symbol? Maybe that's the actual... Oh, that, that must be... So there... Is there one on this? 
Oh, there is one on this. Never mind. We can do... It's like this, then. Like this is let the sleeper awake, then. Or is this clearly also wrong? All right, so let's work it left to right, then. So it would be Z, and then this would be that. If we do it left to right, top to bottom, maybe? Okay, sense this thing again. Stop, get out of this. So how the, the question becomes, how do we read this? Left to right or top to bottom? One, two, three, four, five. Because there are six rings. Maybe we didn't find a body? But if we have five of them, we should like sort of be able to guess it, though, right? There are six stanzas. I wonder if maybe the poem has a key. If there's any kind of clue or key in the poem. Now, it's de this, is, this is definitely the beginning and the end are right here. That's the only thing that makes sense is if those are the first and last chunks of that. So the bottom one needs to be M and the top one needs to be Squiggle. So which one of you is M? None of these guys is standing on M. There is an M here, though. Aha! Got it. So we go high to low, then. I think? Let's try that. Let's sense this. So if we're going top to bottom, this needs to be the Z character. So we would go Z. But these two guys are on the same layer. So then would it be left to right or right to left? Let's try Z, squiggle. Wait, oh, I was gonna say, I thought it made a noise because we got one right and it like locked in. Z, squiggle, sigma, sacrificial dagger. So we'd wanna go reverse sigma, sacrificial dagger, and then another Z. Oh, that's not right, because the gate has not opened. Hmm. Okay, I'm going back to my initial assumption in that this is the first symbol. But we have five dead men. So if you're the first symbol... You gotta try and figure out what, like, what the logical pattern here is. So they've given us the end, which is M. Where are their M's on the board? So there's one here, there's one here, there's one here. Is this the only layer that doesn't have a dead person on it? One, two, sort of. So that would suggest that this layer is, so the last character is definitely M. But the guy who's on the squiggle, there's no squiggle up here, which would suggest that the top character should be Z. Was there another burned part of that note? I'm curious if anything to the left of the top was also burned. And if, like, maybe the first symbol was burned off. It doesn't suggest that. It suggests that it's complete, top to bottom. That we have the first and last chunk, but not the chunk in the middle. So we really only have four parts of this that we have to figure out. So there are four symbols. Two of which are Z's, one of which is a Sigma, and one of which is Sacrificial Dagger. So it feels like, if we're going top to bottom, though, does this go top to bottom? It could, because M is on the bottom. But does it go left to right or right to left? Because we have two guys on the same row. I feel like we're missing a piece of the puzzle. Maybe there's a dead guy in the maze we didn't find? I don't think so, though. We went everywhere in the maze. It's, it's got to be something here that we're just not... There's, there's something that we're not... We're just not seeing. It's a, There's a spiral shape here. Maybe we work from the inside out as if these guys are a spiral? So 
So it would still need a spiral now. I don't, uh, I don't think so. I think the spiral was merely decorative. Well, you know what? We can just brute force it. Let's try. So you would be weird, Z. Then let's try Sigma. Sacrificial Dagger, Weird ZM, so we know that's not right. Let's do Sacrificial Dagger, Sigma. This would be Weird Z, Weird Z. Which I think we already tried and we know isn't correct. So let's make you Weird Z, you Sacrificial Dagger, and then you Sigma. Nope, oh, how about you as Sigma? Weird Z, Sacrificial Dagger. Like that? Also, no. We're very clearly missing something. What are we missing? Where's the clue that tells us what order these go in? There's, There's got to be something that tells us the order. Something that gives us a clue. We have all of the symbols, I think. I suppose we could... You know what? Let's go run the maze again. There's probably a very clear and obvious answer to this that I'm just overlooking because I'm an idiot. We'll go run through the whole maze. I'm almost positive we went everywhere, though. We didn't see the zombie a second time. So, okay, so we definitely went that way. Definitely went through here. Oh, this, okay, maybe we did miss something. No, this is back at the beginning. Is there a clue here? If this warning stands, the Seagate thing remains sealed. Yeah, it sure did. Seagate thing is definitely sealed. Is there some clue as to the order of which way these things are supposed to go, though? Could be that the Will of the Wisps, like, uh, maybe they illuminated them in order, but since I, well, I mean, I guess it would depend on what order you touched them in, though. That doesn't make any sense, because then you'd have to actually find them in the correct, proper pattern. Okay, so that should be a dead end, and it is. Come around this way. Come up on another sign here in a second. Yep. And then we've gone every direction. Oh, uh, it's the zombie. Oh, God, he's back. Did he get us? He got us. Well, I mean, we found the zombie. So what did that do? Does he just take us back to the beginning? Is that it? I really wish I could turn off the controller vibrations, too, by the way. So if we just run down this way, like we'll run straight into the zombie. Also, we were not able to kill the zombie with the pickaxe, which suggests to me that perhaps the pickaxe does something else instead. I'm kind of curious what that something else might be. What if... Oh, there was a like the dead the dead lady upstairs. I got so enticed by the whole zombie thing that I forgot all about the dead lady. I guess we could go back up. Maybe that has a clue. He is not dead, but an eternal lie. God of strange eons cannot die. We open the sea gate. Do any of these start with the same letter? The first and the last. Second and third. I'm just curious if maybe there's a pattern in the poem that gives us a clue. First and last letters of the first sentence match. Second, eh, it doesn't really help, does it? I'm confident that that is the first and last symbol, though. Based on the width, there would be one, two, three. There would be four in the middle. So that makes six. We just got to figure out which symbols they are and what order they go in. There's got to be something in this grid pattern. That, that There's something that makes a sense. 
Something that allows us to make sense of this. And clearly this is the starting spot right here. Which suggests that the next thing should be weird Z, weird Z. If we go one... we end on M, then... I mean, this... Like, now... Okay. So we'd want to do... Weird Z, and then this would be... Weird Z, Weird Z, and then this would be Sigma. Like, this would be this, right? Wait, this symbol is on the thing, but it's not used. gate did not open, though. Or did it? Uh, I mean, it, it, I'm assuming there would be some kind of flashy show or something. So that symbol is on the ground, but it's not used anywhere. Or is that symbol even on the ground? I don't even see that symbol. The backward, the, the one that looks like a reverse 7, I don't even see that symbol here anywhere. There's a couple of the weird Zs. So your start... Oh, maybe it goes right to left, in which case it would be... Well, eh, that doesn't make any sense. Why would it go right to left? It's these four, some combination of these four symbols. Top to bottom, maybe? In which case it would be weird Z, Sigma, Dagger, Z, but I think we already tried that one. Weird Z, then it would be Sigma, Dagger, Z. Would be this. And it's... Clearly not that. Okay. So what other possible combinations could we get? We could do Z, Dagger, Sigma... Like in my head, it's always the same, and it's always Z. That that's, but that's clearly not right. We need something to give us a clue as to how this works. Maybe we're supposed to walk from like symbol to symbol. So it would be, but the next closest one is like always two away. What if we do like a spiral pattern? If we do a spiral pattern, it would be Z. So it would be Z dagger Z sigma M. So we would switch these two. It would be a dagger. It would be backwards sigma. That would be it. Not a spiral pattern either. Man. All right, well, uh, you know, I'm beating my brain against this. Uh, let's go back and check the pickaxe thing and see. There, Maybe there's a clue. There's got to be some kind of clue that tells us how to decipher the order of these symbols. There's something we've overlooked. Maybe we could get that uh, nice zombie gentleman to teleport us back to the beginning of the maze, save us a little time running. Maybe, Mr. Zombie? Sir? Hello? Uh, help, up, help me out a little bit? No, oh, huh? Okay. Uh, where are we? Oh, we are here, so we want to go this way. Yeah, we've been everywhere in this mine, though. Like, we've been to every location. If we just keep going this way. We've been down every tunnel here, though. And, like, from here, we should be right there. Means we want to go chunk, chunk left, and then it should just be straight on till sunset, right? Yep, straight on till sunset takes us out. We must have overlooked something. That's backtracking is the only thing I can think of that makes sense. Did I get turned around in the maze? I certainly did.
Well, now the fact that I've gotten turned around in a maze makes me wonder if maybe I have, in fact, been in every part of the maze. Maybe I overlooked a corpse. Love it when puzzle games get the better of me. Also, this maze is surprisingly difficult to navigate because it's so irregular. So we're looking at the map. The map is on this corner, which means we should go this way. We're going to jog up. We're going to jog right. This takes us back to the beginning, correct? Yes, it does. So let's go try the pickaxe. I don't know. That, that's all I can think of. We must have missed. At some point, we missed something. We're overlooking something. I'm just not entirely sure what that something is. Plus, this does give us a chance to go make fun of Ethan's family for being possessed by elder abominations, which kind of makes me feel a little bit guilty. Should we make fun of them for being possessed by elder abominations? It feels a little bit like, you know, pick on a crippled kid. Be like, uh -huh, Jimmy can't walk. He's got a club foot. And it's like mocking Lord Byron. You know, he was one of the greatest poets of all time. So what if he had a club foot? You know, we felt bad about it. Guy was constantly doing like feats of daring do and strength to prove just how much he was as good as everyone else, even though he had a club foot. Guy swam the hell as pot for crying out loud just because he like wanted to prove that he could do it. Let's turn on our train. Back this bad boy up. That's right, you want to ride on the meat train, baby? Old Perfidious Pete will take you all the way to Pound Town. Sweet thing, come on down to Pound Town. I don't care if you are unconscious when it happens, you still loved it. Yeah, so back in this truck up. We already touched Missy's dead body, so hold on here. Shut that off, hop on out. Pickaxe. Fix. Ah, okay, so something new has happened. What was it? That made the little lush sound. So, like, what if we touch? Is your body? Oh, if we touch you, I bet it's bigger now. Aha. Oh, it's all the way big. Oh, we got a vision. Okay. Oh, more notes. Show me the light so that I might open the sealed gate of the beyonded horned one and let that which should not be be. Oh, God, these fucking things have gone everywhere. Okay, fine. Let me show me your little scene here. Okay. What do you got? Uh, okay, so where's Waldo coming into the mine with the guy? Guy grabbing a pickaxe. This is going to be body getting rolled into a mine shaft, I'm almost certain. Oh, nope. He didn't even kill her first. She was alive when he did it. Wow, that's fucking... Reality is a harsh mistress. And then he sends her down into a deep and watery grave. Okay, what's going on over here? So, them walking into the cave is, like, probably first... So, first things first, you walk into the cave. Uh, you grab an axe. You talk to her. You drop her into a hole, drown her, and then bury yourself in a fit of desperation? I'm assuming it's a classic murder-suicide pact, right? Well, why wouldn't he? Why would he be here? Maybe he's trying to open the sealed gate to let the sea horror into the our dimension. Oh, grabbing a pickaxe is not the correct order. Huh. So you're two? Doesn't seem right. No, he can't possibly have a pickaxe in his hand before he gets a pickaxe. That was probably a raccoon. Definitely a raccoon. Down in a weird, mysterious mine that has no actual purpose for existing. Sure, totally a raccoon. Still not right, huh? Well, this can't be right, because he's got the pickaxe in his hand, and he can't have the pickaxe until after he gets the pickaxe. So, like, this is two, then? Does he have the pickaxe in his hand here or not? No. So maybe you're three? 
Now, because he's very clearly drowning her there. Then he gets the pickaxe. This is four? Gets the pickaxe. Uses the pickaxe. Got it. Honey, he probably ran. Well, why wouldn't he? Why would he be here? Oh, is that the elevator coming down? Is that the noise we heard? No. No, I don't think it was. I'm really curious how we get any kind of auditory feedback from a visual hallucination at all, honestly. Nope. That's not it either. So this has got to be two, then. Come on, change. I want to I change it. There you go. So you're two. You're three. Oh, is this a... No, because there's only five of them. Honey, he probably ran. Well, why wouldn't he? Why would he be here? Honestly, I don't know. I've kind of lost interest at this point. I was trying to figure out which one of these events is second because this chronology doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. Second, they wound up in the elevator somehow? He didn't disturb anything. He just found a room in an old house. That's it. Oh, boy, is the price. I'm going up there. The sleeper must not sleep. But these guys already tried to kill Ethan. Why would he murder her now? He can't get away. It's the sleeper's time to awake. Missy, listen to yourself. Yeah, you sound really fucking crazy. Why in hell am I actually helping you here? The sleeper breathes inside me. You're sick. We all are. Dale, what are you doing? Uh, pretty sure he's drowning you, actually. Then he comes over here, grabs the pickaxe, and uses it to go and break the thing to make it dark. Dale! Dale, what is this? I'm <laughs> fixing something. So he broke the lock and then murdered her for good. Yep. Then he comes over here, drops her into the dunk. Yeah, well, Dale demands that you don't rise, and Dale demands that you drown. Can the sleeper swim? How long can the sleeper hold his breath? Doesn't seem like it's that long. So how did Ethan factor into this? I mean, we already saw that this woman was dead. I, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on board with this. Where are you going, Will of the Wisp? Can you tell me what the secret to the code, the combination thing is downstairs? Because I don't get it. Where's mom? I thought I heard her voice. She's, um, still looking for you. Y you need to leave. Go through there. Through that water? It kind of looks like it's boiling. No, no, it's, it's See, Ethan at least has an appropriate level of skepticism here. Mom! Mom! Where are you? I'll deal with your brother. Just go now. When he says deal with, aren't you supposed to make air quotes there, Dale? When you all deal with your brother, plant this pickaxe in his face. He didn't kill his wife. Yeah, he she did. no longer who she once was. He totally killed her, Paul. <sighs> See, Paul Prospero, this is why you're the worst psychic detective of all time. Stronger. I'm telling you, if it weren't for the ghost, this guy would never solve a crime. He's the world's shittiest detective. Much like I'm the world's shittiest unlock puzzle solver. We're going to have to wrap that one up next episode. If you enjoyed this one, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to see the conclusion of the mystery of Ethan Carter, who was, you know, at least smart enough to be skeptical of walking through what appears to be boiling water, whereas we just waded through stupidly, might consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right now, I'm going to go, I guess, spend a little, get ready to spend a little more time wandering around in a maze trying to find the corpse of a missing miner, or alternatively, trying to figure out what the hell it is I'm overlooking on that puzzle. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.